poison the neighbours and blow up home and away. Silence Australian idols and Big Brother, he's adopted, they say. Burn all the cooking shows and lobotomise game show hosts. Shoot Kerry Ann and Bert and impale all the Simpsons on posts. Hang all the crime shows, they're murdering our minds. Sitcoms are the crap from idiots behinds. Sports shows are fodder run by monkeys and fools. Black eye for the queer guy and all those lifestyle tools. You can dance with the stars till I break all their legs. TV needs entertainment and our noses need pegs. I love you, pumpkin head. I love you, hairy nipples. Stay cool, everyone. This is a television show. Hi kids, how are you going? I'm Robbie Royd. Welcome to the show where we laugh in a smug, arrogant way at so-called filmmakers showcasing their talents with sci-fi, horror, and lots of oh! Hi Freakers. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. I'm Carly Corpse Grinder. At last, a program where lowbrow is highbrow and highbrow gets beaten to a pulp and sunk to the bottom of the ocean in cement boots and after much torture. <laughs> this program is based on the Trasharama A Go Go National Touring Short Film Competition that you can be part of, win great prizes and have your film tour the country. More on that later. Oh, and did I mention, war is funny. No, it is, really. Hi, I'm Tom Priestley. I'd like to introduce our film. We almost got shot based on an old war comic Bill Flowers and I did in the early 90s. And we had a lot of Australian diggers. This film's 2D puppetry, by the way. Uh, Vietnam helicopters, sexy girls, don't forget the sexy girls, and explosions. It is a war film after all. Yeah, back in World War II, political correction was the last thought in our head. When the Japs came at you with that kung fu stuff, you shoot them, psh, but they keep coming at you with their guts dragging in the grass. Was war really like this comic? For real, real, real? It was worse, Sonny Jim. Much worse. <laughs> the Liar, 1942. Sergeant Johnny Struth led us on a mission to save a British brigade trapped by the advancing Japanese. Gee, Sarge, do we really have to talk corny like they do in those war comics? Sure, I'll put paid to the yellow swine. Three days of slogging along jungle trails began to tell. I hate this war. By thunder, wait till I catch the bloke that started it. The angry whine of bullets was the first we knew of our danger. Ah, the perisher's got me in the leg! My crikey. The dirty rotten tykes are shooting at us. They're not getting away with this. This is for my mates in Vietnam. And my pal raped in Baghdad. Act on! Bands oi! That sorted those jerrys out. They're japs, you idiot. Our flying hovercraft reported British troops to be behind that pagoda. It's been so long I've been waiting in this jungle for a man. Mm. Oh. Yoo-hoo, oh. boys! Oh. What on earth are you doing in this big bad forest? Mm. Why hello there, sugar, aren't you boys just so sweet? Mm. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ooh. 
You dog! Now, boys, why don't you put all those big, heavy guns down and come over here? Ooh, this smells like a trap. Why, Sergeant, what's wrong? Don't you like girls? Stand firm. Sergeant, one more word out of you and I'm gonna behead you. Hey, it's one of them lady boys. That was careless, Nip. When the Japs opened up with V2s, we knew our position was hopeless. Ow! Looks worse than it is, Corporal. You'll be alright. Curse the yellow swine. Forced into the open, we came face to face with a group of French resistance fighters. Keep going, we'll hold them off for a bit. Give them blazes until we get the palms out, lads. After three years, we knew our position was hopelessly lost. Hold on, Sarge. We passed that pagoda earlier on. Rubbish. Stick with me and I'll pull you through. Then we blundered into the long-lost British regiment. Struth! Blimey. What the blazes? I had no idea you chaps were a one-legged regiment. <laughs> Someone's taken you for a whiz, old boy. You've all been tortured. Struth, there's no let up from these yellow devils. <laughs> You're such a wizard of a scream, old chap. We were born like this. Darn it, I've stepped on a confounded landmine. It will explode if I step off it. Good grief, I've stepped on one too. So have I. And me. So have the rest of the regiment, Sarge. This is a fine time to get into a perishing jam. I hate this war. Our Aussies can disarm a landmine while the poor devil is standing on it. Can you Brits do the same? Free not, old chap. You've got me by the blaters on that one. If your chaps swap places with my regiment, We'll disarm the mines while you stand on them. Sounds quite decent of you. Right, lads. Run! Where the dickens are they off to? The poor devils. They made the ultimate sacrifice to save us. I'll never say a word against them. And I'll clock any man who does so help me. Oh, thank you, sir. Not worth it at all. Sniff my sheet. Hey, hey, funny boys. Those English have weak faces. That's it, boys. They sound stupid. Oh, English. There's our hiccup. Actually, there's a plane leaving our airport that you might be interested in joining. How, Sarge, join the crew of the Anola Gay? Gee whiz, can I press the button? You've every right to cover. <laughs> We forget. So sit back and enjoy this next disaster piece classic while I rip into this.
G'day, I'm Joe Valani, I'm in front of the Inspiration Adult Bookshop in Chapel Street, Windsor, the setting of my film, Pencil Dick. And the premise of the film is pretty much what sort of people buy porn, because there is something for everyone. Um, so enjoy the film. Bye. Bored? Lonely? Want a pet but don't want the hassle? Are Jesus freaks knocking your door down? Hi! I'm from Jesus! Are you tired of meeting shallow bores at parties? Then I want this and then I want that! And they were so impressed the entire town changed their name to the same as mine! Just dial a Darrow! <laughs> Just dial a Darrow! It's taking Australia by storm! Dial a Darrow! It's fantastic! My husband passed away recently and now I call Dial a Darrow and it's like he never left! Darrows are perfect around the house as doorstops, paperweights, or garden gnomes. They even double up as compost! Just dial a Darrow! Need a babysitter? They're great with arts and crafts with the kiddies. Just dial a Darrow! No more fuss with overpriced pet food cans. Darrows are easy and cheap to feed. Got the security sads. Darrows make great guts. Just dial a Darrow! With our special personalised service, we carefully handpick the Darrow that's just right for you. Just dial a Darrow! And for that little bit extra... Come here, Toby! My name's Carl. It's bloody Toby! 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 I got a rare flesh eating disease. I had trouble putting out the garbage. But now, thanks to dial a Darrow, he just eats it. Buy one now and get one free. Simply dial 555-555. That's triple five, triple five. Our friendly operators are waiting now for your life-changing call. <laughs> Just dial a Darrow.
Why did have to take me, Sally Hammond? It was only a lad! They say that kid had an imaginary friend. It was a kangaroo. They say he used to play with it out that way. Do you think there's something in it? I'd like to get that busted and... I heard that his body had been gutted, his intestines stretched out for hundreds of meters across their bush. Kill a 